was because I wasn't taught it. I lived in Black Bottom, Detroit, the deep. And we were so busy surviving, my parents, they didn't teach us hate about them, even though my parents were from the South, they didn't pass that on to their children. So I didn't know what it was, but I remember being at the dentist's office at the age of about seven or eight for some reason, and I, my parent allowed me to go into the room with this European American dentist and he was trying to choke me. He was sticking a silver metal object down my throat. My legs were moving all over the place. He was choking me. And then he opened the door and let me out. What am I to say as a child? I thought perhaps that's what my parent took me there for. Surely. And if I hadn't, said something. I'm sure he would have said, girl, <laughs> that good old European American citizen didn't do nothing to you. Hush your mouth. But I hear that in the back of my mind. I didn't know exactly what was going on. I remember being on when my parents were on assistance and going to the office and sitting there as a child, legs so small, they swinging underneath the chair. And every time one of us would leave the desk for information, she would spray Lysol or some kind of spray. That's in the back of my mind. Never forget it. And even coming out of high school, going to a Denny's in Southfield, Michigan in the early 70s. We sat there for about a half an hour and people were coming in after us and being served. And it's obvious, obvious now that they were European American citizens. But we couldn't figure out, me and I don't remember who I was with, it was so long ago. Why is everybody getting served before us? I had no racism in me. I couldn't figure it out. And then my first job was at a big corporation in the deep. And it was an office job because that's what they trained me to come out of high school for type 72 words a minute. Nothing else. But these white girls, I'm beginning to realize who white people are now. They huddled together and were sharing secrets and they made it obvious to me that I was not inclusive. Still didn't register. Even though I was around the 67 riots, I didn't know what was going on. I'm a child. And I really was a child until I just woke up five years ago. Because after all that, I went into cultic Christianity that helped me hide all that didn't agree with my spirit. Because now I have hope and faith in this fairy tale that's going to make everything that I ever suffered wrong right. People, it was all a lie. Because now, once I realized and was taught by my teachers and historians on FB about our true history and then everything came to fruition about how all my friends were dying in the 60s. We were on the playground playing and then singing I'm black and I'm proud and to be young, gifted and black and the next minute, heroin came. Guns, death, all my little friends, 15, 16, 17 years old, hooked on heroin. 
going to jail, killing and being killed, breaking in people. That's when all that shit started. Still didn't know what it was. Then after that, got into Christianity. They hid it all, polished it over, and made me have hope that JC on a, a horse with his thug angels was gonna come out the sky and make everything all right. 